Hi folks, it's Switchback. Traveling to the desert requires a different set of rules than you might obey when you're out in the woods and like a more wet environment. It's just completely different. A lot of the leave no trace principles remain the same and I have a whole video series about that. I'll link it right up here. But I'm gonna put this together with just some additions that are specific to the desert. Principle one is plan ahead and prepare. One of the things that you can do to reduce your impact is go with smaller groups rather than larger groups. More feet mean more impact, more people that need to go to the bathroom, more people that need water, more people that may not be as good about picking up their trash. Bring a stove to do your cooking. Do not count on having a fire because first of all, there's not a lot of wood in the desert and fires will also char rocks and that is permanent damage. Learn how to deal with the extreme heat and learn how to find water. Learn how flash floods tend to work. Here it comes! We got a big time flash flood here now. <laughs> if it is raining where you are, or if it's raining upstream, or it's about to do so, then you are gonna wanna stay clear of anywhere that is a potential flood bed, a wash, uh, a dry creek bed, any of those kinds of places. Now that said, if you know that there is no rain and it's going to be safe to be in a wash or a creek bed, that can actually be a good place to camp uh, to leave no trace because when a flash flood does happen, it will wash away your prints, any of that kind of stuff. Avoid leaving behind any litter, any tree damage or cactus damage, any new fire rings, human or pet waste, graffiti, or other signs of your visit. You want to keep things looking as natural as possible. Someone's dog poop bag. Yeah, all of like the hearts and Jesus. There's so much of it. 